<laughs> hey, how you guys doing? Welcome to Championship Sparring Lesson 2. My name is Sensei Roger. I'm here from the Grinds Factor. Well, today I want to bring you a few techniques, or well, actually one technique that I put a name to called Shooting Fist, and then we're going to do a kick and drill, a little bit of footwork. But first off, I want to just let you know, when you're doing martial arts training, there's risk there. You could possibly get hurt or hurt somebody else. So I ask you just train responsibly, protect yourself, just be aware of what you're doing. You know, so let's move forward here. Uh, shooting fist is a technique that I like to use for point fighting. And you can even use it with a back fist or a jab. But the idea is I'm not close enough to really hit the person. I could be bouncing around. This is, could be part of your footwork too that we're going to go into. But from here, I can bounce around. This is where it works best. If I'm standing like this, it's okay. It works too. But all I want you to do is bend the knee, lean in, back fist, turn, reverse punch, walk out. Here's the term of this move. I'm kind of falling forward into them, but I'm not leaning my head. I'm here, see how I step forward, but now I'm doing it, there's a strike. I just want you guys to see that fist coming at there. So here it is. I'm bouncing around, I'm out. Now, I went right out of the camera view, didn't I? I just ran, bam, I'm out of there. Well, that's what your opponent sees. They're here, and I'll say, pip, pip, and you pass here. Now they have to stop and look around. Where do you go? And that's the nice thing about this move. Now, you can do that either side, but you still want to walk out. If I'm standing, or my opponent's standing with the left foot forward like I am, and my right foot back, that's a close uh, fighting stance. So we made a little box between us. His other foot, his right foot's forward, my left foot's forward, that's an open stance. Now from that, I want to go to the back side of him. If he's in the closed stance, I want to walk out here. Because I don't want to walk right into the front, lined up for a punching or a kicking. I want to be able to get past that guy, work the outside of him, the back side. So lean in here is very important. Do it slowly. With a lot of practice, you'll become really good with this. I've been hit this by many people that are really good at it. Lean, boom, boom. And they're very, very fast at it. I, I'm pretty decent at it, but there's guys a lot better than me at doing this. And you know what? They've showed it to me and done it to me. So, you can be as good as you want to be at this. Just keep training it. Bend the knee. Shoulder comes forward, the hand back fist, pivot the hip before you punch. Then punch. Don't step and punch at the same time. Your shoulder can get kicked back. So I'm here, turn, punch, and you gotta snap that punch fast, especially when you lean in like that. That's not a traditional way of punching. Traditionally, I'd have both feet flat on the floor, punching, not with the one foot up like this trying to do that. This is good for point fighting or get in fast. This is not your traditional karate way of throwing a back fist reverse punch. Now, one thing you do here to stop a guy from coming at you with this. So if you got a guy really fast at you, as soon as he moves, you can do the back kick. Just turn yourself, boom, back kick right to the ribs. Most people don't have their rib covered when they're doing this. They'll lean having this hand ready to go for that reverse punch. You know, so here, one, two. You get less power from that punch, but you don't cover that rib. But if you get a good guy, they'll time you and do that. I've done that in tournaments, the guys are pretty darn fast. I said, like, I'm not gonna get beat by this technique again. That's why I said to myself. So when they come in, I just turn, boom. As soon as I seen the move, I just got out of there. I even took that step, which leads me now into our footwork. So now we're in the fight stance. I want you to work these things here. We're going to take the back foot. We're going to step it towards the back side. So if your right foot is back like mine, you move that foot. So if you have your left hand forward, your right foot back. That's what you're going to do. I'm going to do this real basic, real slow right now. Step. So now your opponent's coming at you. So here's my opponent here. I'm stepping. Where am I at? They go past me. 
I'm gonna take it from here. See my opponent here? They're throwing a strike at me. I'm out here to go past me. I can hit him with the hand. I can hit him with the foot. There's a, lot, there's a few different options. Or you can just get out of the way. Because in the point fighting, you got a box, which you call it a ring. I don't understand why it's a box and we call it a ring. No, but seriously though, when you step out of the way, they can run past you and step out of that ring. Now, some tournaments it will reward the other player a point automatically if the opponent steps out of the ring on their own. Or you, they get a warning, so many warnings, then the other guy gets the point. So, get out of the way. This is a great technique when a guy charges fast. Alright, so now we're going to take the foot and step in that direction. So we're here, we're going to step it out like that. Just start, just take that little simple step. You can turn up the hand coming up here. You're ready. Or just move it here. You can even do this outward block this way instead of extended outward. Now, we're going to pair this up with the other foot movement. So we're going to go one, soft bow, this is called. So here's the bow stance. You're going to soft bow, but it's a reverse soft bow. This is the reverse bow is where I'm in the bow stance here and I'm facing here with a strike or something. What I did with doing is getting out of the way. So, one, two. Here we go, let's do it again. You can do that. Oh man, what did I do? I changed it. I dropped the hand and it come up in here. What if someone threw a kick punch? Bam! I knocked the kick away, got this up here, blocked the punch away. Or if they just threw the kick, I still got my cover. Look at this. There's a punch. There's that, I mean there's a lot of things you can do from there. Now, I'm going to change the direction right now. We're going to move the left foot. So all we're going to do right now, left foot, you can throw a parry block and a block. I like to throw a parry block when I start doing this stuff. Here, look, there's a punch you can do, elbow there you can do. Oh, oh well, you're not allowed the knee inspiring, are you? <laughs> Alright, so we're here. Okay, <laughs> now we're going to do one, two. One, two. So I'm here, there's that universal block again, so down and in, that's what we call it, it's a universal block. So we're here, a couple ways you can move out of there. Now the other way is lunge forward, lunge back. So if someone comes at you, you can go back then forward. This is a little bit of footwork. Now I'm going to do a kicking drill. This is just, all it's going to be is a front kick, a side kick, a back kick. The idea behind this drill, why I put it in the championship sparring, is so you can learn how to pivot. If you can't pivot that foot, how are you going to be a champion in sparring? You've got to be able to move around, pivot and go from one movement to the other. So we're in the fighting stance, we're going to go up, knee, front kick, pivot the foot, lift the heel up, turn, side kick, turn, back kick. Cross your foot here, step out to the angle. This is more footwork tied into this. So from here, front, turn, side, back, cross step, come on back. Now you can do this 20 times off each side. I'm going to go to five right now. Here we are. Front, side, back, cross, step. I'm here. Front, side, back. Cross, step. You come on an angle when you step so your opponent goes past you. That's two. Three. Four. Five. Now we're going to do the other side. Same thing here. Front, pivot. I mean, see, I'm not pivot, but chambering the leg. Pivot now. Side kick, bring it back, chamber. Pivot, back kick, cross. Step to this corner. Five times I'm going to do this. One. I know some of you guys have a harder time with the left leg, but practice, you'll get it down, you'll become better. Two. You guys doing this with me? Or are you just watching me? Three. Four. Five. Good. Now again, like I said, championship sparring. 
I'm not the best out there, but I've worked with some of the best. I've done pretty darn good at the tournaments myself. How far do you want to take it? Here's one of the greatest tips I can give you too. Work hard. Practice hard. And then just find out what other people are doing in the game that you're going. If you want point fighting, watch videos of the best fighters out there. See what they're doing. You can learn what they're doing or learn how to stop what they're doing. That's one of the greatest things. You might say, well, I don't move like that. That's fine. But can you stop someone that moves like that? That's what's going to make you different. So we, I want you guys to follow us on Twitter and ask you to like us on Facebook. So we are on there as the Grimes Factor on both Twitter and Facebook. I also have another channel called Shodan1197. Since you guys like my karate stuff so much, that channel is like 99% karate. So if you want more karate too, check that one out. But if you haven't subscribed yet to the Grimes Factor, what are you waiting for? Come on, subscribe. God bless you guys.